Have you booked that trip to Ireland yet? Press the green button and visit the island of Ireland. See Ireland.com. Eurogold is driven by being the best civil engineering contractor in the Northwest, ensuring its clients are given the highest level of service that they deserve. Eurogold work in a wide range of industry sectors, including house building, highways, commercial, and industrial build. La Vita is an award-winning, independently run Italian restaurant. Located on Rose Lane in the heart of Liverpool, real Italian style dishes using the best ingredients, skillfully prepared by our chefs. Come and try our serious Italian experience. The Warrington Irish Club friendly and welcoming club keeping the Irish culture alive. We have Irish and country music every Saturday night, tribute nights, race nights, charity nights and karaoke. All live sports are shown on big screens. We have snooker, dominoes and crown green bowling teams along with arts and craft. Pop in for a friendly welcome and book your event at the Warrington Irish Club. Give Frank a call on 01925 243 363. Mulligan's Funeral and Monumental Services are a family-owned funeral service first established by the late Brian Mulligan in 1996. We provide funeral homes in Gorton, Manchester and Reddish, Stockport and we pride ourselves on giving a friendly and professional service to all the families who use our service. Contact us on 0161 432 0809 Founded in Kilkenny, Ireland in 1702, but lost on a bet on a horse race in Deauville, France, 1918. Sullivan's was re-established a few years ago by direct descendants of two great Kilkenny brewing families, the Smithicks and the Sullivans. We're about to embark on our own journey across the United Kingdom. But this time, we won't bet the brewery. <laughs> Sullivan's. Brewing is in our blood. Press the green button and visit the island of Ireland. See Ireland.com. Hello everyone and welcome to the show. This week we'll be meeting Martin Lonergan who has started a social hurling group. We'll also be speaking to Conor Teague about the development of Oisin GAA Underage. But first, the Warrington Irish Club, in conjunction with the gathering, arranged a culture and family day. This was a huge success and it was great to see the Warrington Irish Club full to capacity. Well, I'm from Dublin and Galway, Cork and Kerry. Cork and Kerry. From Sligo, Westmeath to Donegal. To from Wexford and Clare to Tipperary. Tipperary. I'm the best crack of all was in Mayo. Frank, Sunday afternoon, and the Warrington Irish Club is absolutely packed with people. Uh, we've had a lot to do today. We've had the Irish dancers here, we've had hurling this morning and uh, did various things, raffles, and uh, it's all part of the culture, to keep the culture going, forming a GAA now and everything, it's br absolutely brilliant. Yeah, and of course you need a widespread of, of different games and different activities going on to get everybody involved. To get everybody involved, yeah. The man on the stage at the moment is number one in the Irish Hit Parade, yeah. Seamus Fitzsimmons. 
Seamus, you just come off stage there. My goodness, you had the crowd rocking this afternoon. Ah, oh, thanks very much, Martin. I'll try my best. Yeah, it's a good crowd today. Brilliant crowd. So I enjoyed it. Yeah, and of course you're very busy. I know that since lockdown, of course, um, you know you're here and all over the place, aren't you? I am. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, in Manchester quite a bit. I love Manchester, and I love Liverpool. And I think the last time we met was before the lockdown in Liverpool. So that's going back a bit, you know, before all the madness and everything, you know. But yeah. I'm doing well at last, Martin, you know, I'm getting there. Jacqueline, why do you think the Warrington Irish Club has become so popular? Um, I think it's for the, um, well, well, like say, the culture that's going on. Like say, we've got a new hurling, social hurling team. Uh, we've got Irish dancing. Um, just have a wide variety of uh, things going on. Um, like obviously, uh, not Irish on a Saturday night and um, the um, tribute nights, and and then we've got Bim Bingo. Um, we have got a bowling green at the back, as you can see. Um, just a nice place to be. We always say when we walk through the door here, everybody's so friendly, all your staff and everybody makes you so feel so welcome. I think that's got a big, big thing to do with getting people in. Yeah, it has, yeah. The staff are so, so good, they work so hard. They've got a good chairman and a good committee behind us. Nicola, you put on a great display here today, but tell me about the first four dancers that took the floor. Uh, the first four dancers were our four-hand Cayley team, and this year we took them to the World Irish Dancing Championships. It was their first time entering um, and qualifying for that event, and it's such a prestigious event. They were so excited, and they did us really, really proud. They came ninth. Well, many congratulations to you and everybody involved. A lot of work has gone into that. Absolutely, months and months of hard work. Um, blood, sweat and tears went into it, definitely. And not just the children, but it's a, um, we always say it's, it's a, collect, a collective. Um, so we need, you know, parents us and the children all need to be there to push those children to where they want to be. It showed them um, what to aspire to even more with it being their first one. And I think they've come back just hungry for more and wanting to progress, which is great. Now Emma, tell me a little bit about the groups you've had here today, because you put on so many different dances and so many different displays. Yeah, um, well we've got kids of all ages, um, all different abilities, um, and we want to make sure that you know everyone has the limelight, so to speak. Um, the younger kids are just absolutely fantastic. You've seen the little babies, like three, four years old, um, and they do so well. They're so we're so lucky with with the kids that we've got. They're just they're just great. Chris, what a lovely day here for the gathering. I know that you three people have worked so hard, and Tina, of course, behind the scenes to organise today, but tell me a little bit about it. Oh, what a fantastic day. We started off in uh, Warrington, uh, the park in Westy this morning, with the hurling, the social hurling, the Warrington social hurling, and what a uh, display they all put on, the young kids and, and the old ones. And it was lovely to see so many mums and dads and families out there watching the Gaelic uh, football and the hurling. Yeah, there was a great crowd, Martin, you know, just for a small town between Liverpool and Manchester. I just can't believe how, how well they're doing, you know. And all, and all we can thank now is Martin Lonigan for starting it all up anyway. Audrey, have you enjoyed the day so far? Because here at the Warrington Irish Club, it's been absolutely jam-packed today, but the atmosphere was great. I did. I thought the best so far for me has been the dancers. Yeah. I love seeing the young, ch the young children dancing. Yeah, it's been lovely. Yes, our granddaughter Nova, she started with the dancers. She was one of the little ones. Well, they've done really well, and we were just saying earlier on how well they've done because a big crowd could easily have put them off, but I'll tell you what, they performed. They do, they, they just put 100% into it, they'd be so excited waiting to get up to dance. Yeah, we just can't get over how many people we come in, we thought there was going to be too many for the room, but it's, I just can't fathom, it's just a brilliant day, we've had a wonderful, wonderful and lovely spirit, a lovely atmosphere and then Chris's son turned up with the ice cream van and gave all the children the ice cream, so it's just been a fantastic day, an absolute fantastic day. Yeah, fair play to Riley's Isis. <laughs> we'll be all out there now looking for a free ice cream. Yeah, yeah, he went fast. <laughs> Well, we were formed as a, a social group on the estate, Long Barn, where we live. It was really just for fun for the uh, local residents, but it blossomed. Um, we got people coming from 
outside the estate, from all over the place, and we grew to a size where we just had to stop asking for uh, more members. And we, not only did we meet to play songs, we also uh, got into playing gigs, particularly for care homes. Uh, we, we love playing gigs for care homes because the, some of the people who are in these homes, um, uh, their memories weren't what they used to be. But once we started playing, they all knew all the words from the songs that we, uh, we sang. And we, uh, we grew those gigs to play in anywhere that would in invite us, particularly things that were do with fundraising and charities. And our friends here at the Irish Club have been great. They've supported us a number of times and invited us along. And we've loved playing here. Such a great venue great bunch of people it's just been smashing when we set it up we have been perfectly happy to get about 10 or 12 people uh, and now we're regularly into 30 people at a meeting uh, and people are queuing up to do gigs like the uh, the irish club it's just good fun it's good for you you can get us on the internet if you look for long barn ukulele clubs in warrington anything like that or you can contact people here and they'll put it, uh, put anybody in touch with us. Pull up from Dublin and Galway, Cork and Kerry. Cork and Kerry. From Sligo, West meet the Donegal. I know that you've got a tour coming up. Tell me about that. The tour starts on Monday the 12th of September. And I think my album launch is in Tipperary on the 15th, which I'm really looking forward to. I love to, I've never been, there's certain places in Ireland I've never been. I've been to Dublin quite a bit because that's where my family are from. I'm going to be seeing different parts of Ireland, which is brilliant for me, you know. But uh, yeah, the albums, uh, album launches over there and I think in October I go to Canada for a week with Dan Washburn and Angela Breen and a few of the guys, you know, and uh, then we travel down to New York. I'll be playing in New York. So uh, I never thought all this was, was possible, you know, but you can just go to Seamus Fitzsimmons Music on Facebook or uh, they can find all my music on iTunes, Spotify, Amazon Music uh, and all the dates of the tours of where I am in September and October is all on my, my page. Telling me earlier on that you had an argument with uh, with the door uh, the other day because it was so busy. Yeah, I did. It was it's it absolutely chock a block, and I would, I'd been working a long shift and had a bit of a uh, trip <laughs> without the drink as well. We're on uh, Facebook. It's the uh, Warrington Irish Club. We're open from 12 noon every day, um, so we're seven days a week. So anyone can come along, make itself a member. We're always looking for new members. I would say that the babies are sometimes more not nervous than the older ones. Like they just get up and they do their thing, and it's fantastic. So we're, we're proud of them all, though. The, 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 I mean, especially with everything that's happened with COVID, and you know they've done so well, and we're so super proud of them. So how did you manage through COVID? Did you manage to keep them together? Because I know if you're not practicing dancing, you soon forget it and you move on to other things. Thanks to technology, we did some Zoom classes, and it kind of kept us all together. It was it was something that everybody looked forward to, you know, because of that, and because you know we we stuck together. That it's. You know, it's all paid off. Follow us on Facebook or Instagram at um, Robinson Irish Dance Academy and then just pop us a message on there. So we have a Saturday morning here at Warrington Irish Club along with a Monday evening. Um, Saturdays start from 10 all the way through to 2 in the afternoon depending on your ability and, and age. So Saturday is really our, our first entry class that you would come to. To the three of you and Tina of course is hiding there because she's camera shy. But look, at thank you all so much for all you do for everybody. Honest to God, fantastic. No, thank you what you do for us as well, if it weren't for you, there's people come from all over today, Manchester, Nelson, St. Helens, and it's all down to the TV and the radio. Thank you, Martin and Lett. Thank you. What a very enjoyable day, and Jerry Lewis and Seamus Fitzsimmons certainly kept the crowd entertained, and we'll be having a song from Seamus later in the show. 
Now we're going to take a break and we'll see you very shortly. Have you booked that trip to Ireland yet? Press the green button and visit the island of Ireland. See Ireland.com. Eurogold is driven by being the best civil engineering contractor in the Northwest, ensuring its clients are given the highest level of service that they deserve. Eurogold work in a wide range of industry sectors, including house building, highways, commercial, and industrial build. La Vita is an award-winning, independently run Italian restaurant. Located on Rose Lane in the heart of Liverpool, real Italian style dishes, using the best ingredients, skillfully prepared by our chefs. Come and try our serious Italian experience. The Warrington Irish Club friendly and welcoming club keeping the Irish culture alive. We have Irish and country music every Saturday night, tribute nights, race nights, charity nights and karaoke. All live sports are shown on big screens. We have snooker, dominoes and crown green bowling teams along with arts and craft. Pop in for a friendly welcome and book your event at the Warrington Irish Club. Give Frank a call on 01925 243 363. Mulligan's Funeral and Monumental Services are a family-owned funeral service first established by the late Brian Mulligan in 1996. We provide funeral homes in Gorton, Manchester and Reddish, Stockport and we pride ourselves on giving a friendly and professional service to all the families who use our service. Contact us on 0161 432 0809 Founded in Kilkenny, Ireland in 1702, but lost on a bet on a horse race in Deauville, France, 1918. Sullivan's was re-established a few years ago by direct descendants of two great Kilkenny brewing families, the Smithicks and the Sullivans. We're about to embark on our own journey across the United Kingdom. But this time, we won't bet the brewery. <laughs> Sullivan's. Brewing is in our blood. Press the green button and visit the island of Ireland. See Ireland.com. Welcome back. Now we're off to meet Martin Lonergan, who has started a social hurling group in Warrington. The idea is to get people who is interested in social hurling to come along, make new friends and help to get fit. Martin, many congratulations. What a turnout you had here today. Oh, Martin, it's been a great day. We've been planning this for about four or five months, you know, and uh, we've got about 40 odd uh, adult hurlers came out today uh, in the kind of the blitz that we had, you know, roughly 10 aside, and we called them Munster, Leinster, Ulster, and Connacht as four teams. And then Leinster went, went out to win anyway. They won it at the end of the day. Yeah. Well, we saw you doing the presentation there and everything, and everybody really enjoyed it. It was a bit of fun as well. Well, that's what it's all about, because like, we're social hurling, and uh, the whole thing is, you know, everybody having a crack. Anybody can do what they want to do. They can pay loads or pay little, and uh, they all can feel they're part of it. That's what we're trying to do, and make kind of a bigger community out of it. Yeah. And it's been a family day here as well today. So many of the wives out and the children. Yeah, so we encourage people to come out in the park, you know, bring their seats and come and watch and bring a bit of picnic. And then we got, um, we had the kids under eight earlier on. So the kids had something to do for an hour or so. And we, we got a bit of like goodies for the kids, like a bar of chocolate and a drink and stuff. So they all kind of felt they, they kind of participated. And hopefully then we get a kid section grown from that, both hurling and football kid section. How have you managed to get so many people here playing hurling on a Sunday afternoon? Well, it's 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 the power of social media, really, Martin. Because you know, anybody who says hi to me on on the Facebook page or whatever, I go back to them and say, "Are you interested? What are you what are you doing with yourself?" And 
some people don't answer me back, but some people say I might be interested, yeah, and then we just kind of just kind of bring them along, like, you know, and we kind of kind of say, come on, Leon, it'd be great crack, sure, I'm 52, you, you'll you be all right, you know, and uh, people have come and they've looked around and they've said, yeah, this, this is what I'm into, and they, come, they don't come every week, they come maybe every two or three weeks, but they love it, like, you know. We've got people as old as 61 or 2 playing for us and kids as young as 11 or 8 playing for us. But the whole thing is about everybody's there in a family atmosphere and a social atmosphere. And we're going back for a few points to the Irish club later on today anyway. So, Joe, of course you've been involved here in Warrington for a very long time with the Holland and the GA football. Yes, I came over to Warrington in 1956 and to the Irish club in Warrington. And we had Gaelic, was, Gaelic game was going in a big way then. And I'm throughout the country, and we had a, formed a team there called Wolf Tones of Warrington. And uh, we had some from, uh, because the American Air Base was in just outside Warrington, Burton Wood, and there was quite a lot of Irish Americans in the post, and they let us use their ground at Burton Wood as our home ground. So we uh, formed a good Holland team and a great football team. And uh, called both Wolf Tones. Wolf Tones went down in 1956, captained by John Feely, awfully man, and uh, won the, the Lancashire Championship, and then then, then competed for the, the champion, championship of Britain. But uh, we went a long way. But there was big, big uh, opposition then in Warwickshire and London and Manchester and Liverpool, so we've done pretty well in Warrington at that particular time, yeah. It's great like to see here today hurling back in Warrington and I know you're just trying to get it all started up again and underage football as well. That's right, yeah. Yeah, well you get them involved because we've got a great Irish club in Warrington, new club, because we, we lost the club in, in Warrington, the, the, the old club, we had to come under compulsory purchase. And then uh, Walker's, the brewery, they were moving into a, a new club that were built and put their club out for rent. So we applied for it with a, a couple of more uh, conservative club and, and the wings club. But the reason we got it and with Nicosia and, and uh, we were doing a lot more ballage and so they were more or less into it in ballage. We were doing about 20 ballads a week. So we moved into Alford Lane, Warrington, Giles Club in 1963 on, on, uh, as a rented property, but later we uh, we bought it and it's owned now by the by the members themselves. Bowling Green, everything we've extended it and extended, and it's like a palace in there. There's a fantastic chairman and, and committee there, Frank O'Brien. Oh, and the, the, the manageress Jacqueline and her, and, her, and her husband Steve. Fantastic job they do, fantastic job. And the committee and Frank O'Brien work very hard. And it's it's a credit to them. And any support I can ever give them and give me a ring, frankly, I'm there. And I'll be there as long as I can breed to give them a lift. I was a steward of the Irish Club in Warrington. And uh, the Charlton cl uh, Club wanted a, a manager. And I applied for that and, uh, and got it. And done six or seven years there at the, the Charlton Club. Made an awful lot of alterations that was needed because they were dancing upstairs and, and, and we brought the dancing downstairs, doing extensions out in here over seven, over seven years. And then I got a, another position because my good lady wanted to get back to Warrington. And I got another position in Warrington, uh, a recreation club, so I finished in Charlton. Right, so we're here every Sunday at 10 o'clock and uh, every Thursday night at half seven. And we're on social media and we're called very simply on Facebook, on Instagram and Twitter. Um, Warrington social hurling and you'll find us quite easily just DM or ask a message and then somebody will come back to you very quickly and they'll tell you what we're asking. Well done today you've done a great job and everybody's enjoyed it it's been a fun day. Oh it's been a fun day it's been great I'm very proud of everybody oh, everybody's helped in some shape or form like you know and even three or four years ago these plans were being hatched in the Irish club over a few points of Guinness the next thing it's happening now and it's materialised. I hope you all enjoy playing social hurling in Warrington and well done to Martin Lonergan for arranging it all. Now we're off to meet Conor Teague who has also started a Nushin GEA underage team in Warrington. Conor, you've had a wonderful turnout today of young, youngsters here in Warrington. Yes, uh, we started today uh, with our first sessions for under 9s and under 7 kids uh, with Oshin's CLG usually based out of Manchester, but uh, we've moved it out the road to Warrington now uh, to get the youth set up all up and running again for the club. 
Yeah, well, it's great to see so many Oshin ex-players here this morning. I thought it was like an Oshin reunion you had. Yes, we, we, we had a few old hands out giving a hand this morning. Uh, very much appreciated, as, you, as, as you, you'll understand, with a group of under nine kids, you know. So it went very well. Uh, turnout was very good. We had over 20 kids there this morning. And uh, hopefully we'll build on this now and uh, get the club back in where it used to be at, at the underage level, you know. Yeah, well, absolutely. Oceans was always renowned for having great underage down the years, and it's a shame that it's not just up and running yet. But now you've made a big, big step here in Warrington. Yes, well, to be fair, uh, it, it comes a time when you have to hang your own boots up, and uh, the kids coming in behind you, I've got three of my own now that I'm, I'm keen to get into Gaelic football, so no better club to, to get back into than, than Oceans, you know. So. Fingers crossed. There's there's enough uh, of an Irish community in in Warrington, and 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 to be fair, uh, enough people interested in the sport round here, as you'll see from the social hurling, uh, that I think we can we can get it off the ground. Gaelic football and and hurling uh, and the Gaelic associations, a fantastic association for uh, just the promotion of well-being and kids and community. So I think uh, it, it'll do wonders here in Warrington, and uh, as I say, I hope hopefully now uh, the numbers will pick up for us and. Uh, you know, we can attract some kids from the local area that maybe aren't uh, from Irish descent. That it'll hopefully help promote, you know, well-being within within the community. You know, for these children that come along, they will be taught properly by Gaelic footballers because I know you've had Tommy Hark and Declan Brewster, various footballers here today that had great, like yourself, great footballing careers with O'Shane. So you all know the game. You know how to teach children. That's it. Yes, we're we're, we're all qualified coaches uh, to coach Gaelic. And uh, so your your children are in good hands when they come down, and I say we'd we'd like actively promote any any families and young children in the Warrington area to to come down and uh, and get involved. So we're going to be setting up sessions on a Sunday morning in Wesley Park here in Latchford in Warrington, and uh, as well as that, you'll be able to find the information on social media, Facebook, and uh, the, you'll be able to get my contact details from that in order to register for the games and the uh, training. If you would like your son or daughter to learn how to play Gaelic football, go along to Westy Park every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. and Conor Teague from Ushin GA Club will meet you there. Now we hope you've enjoyed the show. Henry McGlade is back with us next Thursday evening at 7 o'clock and we'll be here at 7.30. And now we're going to leave you with a lovely song from Seamus Fitzsimmons called Rainy Heart. See you next time. But then the rain began to pour And that old sun gently turns away There ain't no easy way Any easy way to say goodbye The sun ain't gonna shine Some will never shine on a rainy heart. I wish I'd called you ten miles out of town. Sweet California Home is where I am bound But then the rain Began to pour and That old sun turns away once more There ain't no easy way Any easy way to say goodbye The sun ain't gonna shine On this rain here The sun won't let it shine On a rain here